Okay, so hi everybody. I wanted to make a video, like a sh kind of short video, about this uh, hobby, archery, and show you uh, some of the of the archers, some of the bows, sorry, some of the bows that I have, um, which are and other stuff that are related to this uh, new uh, hobby. To this hobby. So I have a couple of bows here. This one is the new one that I made from PVC. I'm gonna give it to my uh, cousin. Uh, she's 10 years old, so they're gonna enjoy it. Um, it was nice to make it. Didn't take too long, and it has a draw of about 15 pounds, which is great for for kids. This one is a PVC bow that I've made. I've actually made a video about it in this uh, channel and it has a draw of about 25 pounds which is really nice I mean it's really nice to use it and this one the next one is uh, a Mongolian bow which I got from eBay I'm gonna take you a little bit closer to it and it's made from a couple of uh, materials and different types of wood and it draws 35 pounds which is just like perfect I mean it's not too difficult to pull it and it's yet it's quite powerful and this one is a, a monster okay so this one has a draw of 60 pounds yeah you heard it right 60 pounds so as a matter of fact I got it because I was really really intrigued about using this type of like so much power in a bow but as a matter of fact um, it's not practical for everyday use it's too much pull and it's you, I can't shoot it too many times I mean after a while my muscles start aching um, it was fun to use it and to see how powerful it is when I got it but haven't been using it uh, much since it's actually even quite difficult to just uh, put the string on the bow it's quite difficult as a matter of fact so if you're Arnold if you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, you can't really use that bow that often um, I also got three uh, arrows bamboo arrows so there they are really nice looking I mean, really nice looking um, use them a lot and they start to show uh, wear and tear and um, but you can see that bamboo is kind of like losing the straightness of the arrow uh, after a lot of uh, use and you need to readjust it and you need to uh, re uh, you know put some effort into uh, bringing it back into a uh, uh, straight um, they're fine. I like the fact that they they do look like, kind of like authentic. It's like you almost feel like it's a uh, it's a uh, like you, you get almost like connected to the history of uh, archery when using these type of bows. So uh, one thing that did happen to one of the bows is that one of them broke, um, which th which didn't happen to uh, to the to none of the a carbon arrows which I'm gonna show you uh, next so these are uh, the carbon arrows I got uh, 24 arrows there they are and carbon arrows actually have two um, two ways that they act it's either they are straight once again, it's either they are straight or they they are broke. They, they get broken. So that's the big advantage of using carbon arrows. Uh, no maintenance. They keep straight all the time. Uh, and as I said, either break or straight. And I'm going to show you the arrows and the targets that I've made. As you can see. I've made some mark with just cardboard with a couple of other cardboards inside. Um, I've noticed that when I've put only cardboards inside, I, it wasn't strong enough. I mean, the, the arrows got so 
powerful shooting the arrow that they actually made holes in the chair as you can see in the chair behind so I stopped just putting only car cardboard inside and I started putting some fabric okay so this this cardboard and fabric like you know old clothes and stuff like that that I've put inside this uh, cardboard in order to make sure also that every arrow that I shoot is not destroying something in my warehouse and not destroying the warehouse and not destroying and not and the, and the arrow not get stuck in the wall behind and also get broken in something I just took a uh, one big uh, bicycle cardboard uh, a bicycle uh, box from uh, a shop and put the bicycle uh, box behind just to make sure to have another layer of uh, of uh, stopping the arrows from being broken because each one of these things each one of these arrows cost about uh, I think uh, like ten dollars I think each arrow is like I don't know eight dollars or something like that so let's talk about cost okay the arrows cost me around uh, 150 dollars uh, for the arrows um, it's 24 arrows sorry 24 hours and that's the way they th maybe you can find them cheaper <laughs> but that's what it cost me 150 dollars so the bows you know the PVC bows didn't cost me anything uh, this bow cost me um, $120 and the big one cost me uh, $140 okay so that's that's the way they they that's the cost so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video